And we about to go ahead and get right into it. Doug in the building. All right, man. So, all right. so we we not gonna you you know we we not gonna waste no 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 kind of time, man. Um, just just tell me a little bit about yourself. How long you been driving, and and what was it that got you into into trucking? Well, I started off in trucking, you know, um, when I first joined the military in 1977. I've always, you know, wanted to do it, you know, learn how to drive a stick, you know. So I did it for my first three years in the military. And after I did it, then I wanted to go into, you know, personnel where I was more, you know, doing a lot of more things, helping people with promotions and, uh, you know, learn about being in the military, getting in, getting out, and just learning ins and outs. And so after 15 years in the military, I got out, there was an opportunity where Snyder was hiring, um, you know, people in the military on a program called Gears. And what Gears was, it was like guaranteed employment after release from service. So when I got into that, that's how I got back into the trucking. And I basically stayed with Snyder 23 years. And what I did, uh, my first four or five years, I learned everything I could from a lot of owner operators and people passing me by and stuff like that. And I ended up buying my first truck with Snyder in 2000. I mean, after four years, uh, in 1996, uh, yeah, cause I came in in 92 and I brought a brand new truck, paid it off in five years. And, and, um, and after that, yeah, and after that, I ended up um, working with Snyder, but I worked for Walmart. I mean, I'm sorry, I worked with Snyder, dedicated, that had a Walmart account. And then I was kind of fascinated with Walmart then, but it was kind of hard to get on with Walmart. And so basically, you know, we lost that account we had to Warner. And then after that, I ended up uh, still working with Walmart and and uh, doing some other stuff. I'm not Walmart, but ended up working with Snyder until I ended up leaving Snyder. You know, I had got a truck with Snyder, stayed with him for a few more years, and then when I finally um, left Snyder, I, you know, worked for um, Wilson Logistics for a while, had my own truck, and and then from there, uh, Walmart ended up calling me in 2019. And, uh, <laughs> and I said to myself, that's something I've always wanted to do, and then it was offering me being home every day, being close to home and medical benefits from day one. And also, you know, I could set up my retirement because here I am, you know, I can retire now in about four years. And this was two years ago. So I did that. And luckily I did. I gave up another year on my truck to pay it off to go to Walmart. And it just so happened I've been off now since June. Uh, last year with a, uh, with disability and Walmart is paying everything on short term disability. Now I'm getting ready to start on long term disability, and I've got a surgery scheduled for February uh, to get my first hip done. After maybe a couple months, uh, I'll probably get the other hip done, and then I'll probably three months after that, I'll probably end up going back to work and try to do my last four years so I can retire with Walmart. And that's, and they're paying a hundred percent of everything right now. They're paying me 75% of my uh, pay just by being off work. And then, uh, and then, <laughs> and you know, when I go back to work, I'll get my pay back, my job back and everything. So they're taking care of everything a hundred percent of my surgery. And they were paying for me to go to Cleveland to one of the best clinics there is. And, um, United States, Cleveland, Clinic. and they're also going to ride the Cleveland Clinic or University Clinic in Cleveland, mm -hmm. and they're paying for me to take someone with me to stay with me, you know, in the hospital, get me back and forth to my appointments, and they're paying for them to go, both of us, $30 a day for food, they're paying for my hotel at the the courthouse up there right across from the clinic, right. and and they're paying us per diem to get there. And if I was far away, they would pay for us to fly. I don't pay anything out of pocket. Man, you, 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 you you're in my neighborhood, bro. Cleveland. That's what's up. You're in my neighborhood, oh, yeah. man. So. Well, when I saw that, when I, when I saw that that area code, I said, "Oh, this is somebody local," because I thought it was one of those fans that come out of Canada. You know, right. so it's a two one something number. 
And, nah, and two, I, I got family up there in Cleveland too. Two one two one six to the fullest, man. Uh so right, so I'm, so Douglas, man, right? You you did fifteen in the military, uh, yeah. and then you 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 did what four? You you say you did four? You did four or five with Snyder. Well, That's, actually, I did twenty three with Snyder. Well, 20, but what I did was I did four. Yeah, twenty three. Twenty. So tw- yeah. you did four. You you did four years. Let me make sure I get this clarified. So you did four years prior as a company driver to Snyder, and Correct. then and then the and then the rest, t- the the twenty plus as an IC was Snyder. Snyder, and then I bought me a truck in ninety uh, six. And uh, I had it for 10 years. And uh, after the 10 years, I ended up going back as a company driver for five more years. And then I had some people that were trying to buy trucks, and I was helping them buying trucks, helping them dispatch, helping them make money with trucks. And then I started seeing what they was doing, and I started doing some what-if scenarios. So I ended up buying me another truck, mm-hmm. you know, with Snyder in uh was it? 2012, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, because I started in 92, 02. Yeah, it was around 2000, a truck. Uh, and then it broke down on me in 2015. I took a little time off and I started back working in 2016. I bought me a brand new Peterbilt with uh, Wilson Logistics. Mm-hmm. And I was going to stay in it and pay it off in like 2020. But then, you know, my father passed away uh, in 2019, three years to today. I mean, yeah, three years to today. And that's when I started trying to figure out what I'm going to do, you know, to be home a little more. Uh, um, you know, I was with him. And then my mom, my mom, you know, he wasn't married. They've been divorced. But she ended up going to a nursing home in June 2019. Mm-hmm. So I'm coming home like every two weeks seeing her, you know, losing money because I'm not paying my truck payment. And so finally Walmart called me in November 2019. And so, that's that was perfect for me. So hold so up. now I'm able hold, to be home hold, every day. Hold, yes, sir. Hold, hold, hold up right quick. So <laughs> you you you've been gunning you you've been gunning for Walmart ever since you've been with Snyder? Uh, somewhat, because I've always known that Walmart was a place to go to work. They would never tell you how much money they made. They would never, you know, they, it was almost like a secret society where, you know, a lot of them wouldn't talk to you. They wouldn't tell you nothing. What you know and, what? Uh, and when I... I'm, I'm, from the yeah, old, yeah, I'm, I'm from the old school. You know, sometimes, like, you know, how... How all these social media, you know, social media just just changed the face of every freaking thing. But, you know, everybody likes to come on here and brag about the money that they making and all the money that they can get and all like that. See, I came from a school where the left hand don't let the right hand know what you're doing or what you're making because because the guy, the guy that's in the same position as you might be making less than you. And then it will become a uh, then it will become a problem between you and that other guy. So do, do you think that's why back in the day Walmart was so tight lipped about you know what was going on over there? Well, I think they were just uh, I, Walmart. You didn't have all the opportunities that you have now because uh, back in the day, if you wanted to work at Walmart. And you came over, you had a one-shot deal, you know, one shot to take the pre-trip, uh, one shot to drive, one shot to be able to back up. And you made a mistake, you weren't going to get hired. So so 20-plus years with Snyder, man, I mean, uh-oh. hold on. All right, sorry about that, bro. Uh, went no, through a, yeah, that's fine. Went through a little dead spot. 
All right, so so with Snyder, man, let's let's jump back. Let's 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 jump at the Snyder for a hot minute. When you started with Snyder and you stayed with them for you know at some, I mean for that longer period of time, would it be fair to say that the money was good back then? Well, for me, the money was good, and I never had a problem, even when. People asked us how much money we were making, and we told them. People didn't believe us because when I started with Snyder, we were driving 55 miles an hour. You know, and, uh, you know, we were driving 55 miles an hour. We did a lot of things, but we were getting down the road. Like, the average driver would run, what, 25, 3,000 miles a week? Mm -hmm. Well, at 55 miles an hour, we were running about 3,200 miles a week. And people said that's impossible. But it wasn't impossible because we learned how to keep our doors closed. And, you know, like when I take off in the morning, I drive about four, five, six hours, take me a nice little break. And then the next time I drive and stop, I'm done for the day. You know, and then I have guys like when I used to go from San Antonio toward El Paso, I have guys going by me 70, 70 miles an hour, whatever. And I'll see them three times. <laughs> and a lot of times they'll say, oh, is that that same sign we passed? And I'll get on the CV. Yeah, I'm the same one. <laughs> so, you know, they're losing an hour, you know, an hour and a half on me, and I'm just keeping that, that right door closed, our left door closed. So I still, you know, can knock out 500, 550 miles in a day, uh, you know, in one day. So if I did that, you know, six days, you know, or, you know, or whatever, that's 3,000 miles right there. Man. So, yeah, it's a possibility when we're running – and then you um, start running off your hours that you picked up, you know, you you can still run because we're not running a, you know, a whole, we're not running all of our hours out a lot of times. So we're able to just kind of run. And and by the time we finish everything, we've knocked out 3,200 miles. Man, that's what's up. All right. So let's uh, jump over here on Walmart, man. Uh, so uh, in the beginning, you got, you, you got with Walmart, what, 2019? Am I correct? Yeah, December 2019. All right, so December 2019, you jumped on uh, with Walmart. Of course, we just got finished talking about uh, the benefits that uh, that Walmart is doing for you. But you, uh, again, with your posts, you just you you just literally just just cracked open the door and just let everybody know from the offset of what Walmart is and what they got to offer. Uh, you did right. in front of many people that I have talked to. Um, Walmart is strict, and as far as right. uh, as they far are. as coming in, so what was what's the process of uh, of onboarding for you with no, Walmart? That, well, the process is they call you, they interview you, they see if it's a, a what fit for you, they check your records and everything, and. You know, and if everything, if you meet all the criteria, then a lot of times they'll, um, you know, they'll either conditionally hire you and then, uh, you know, you got to take a drug test. You know, they'll tell you where to go to take the drug test and um, and they'll set up some dates and stuff. You got to, you know, do this and do that and turn this in and turn that in. Mm -hmm. And then they set you up for um, going to one of their training sites. It used to be that they would do it in like Bentonville. Arkansas, and then when I went, they had just switched from Benville to Casa Grande, which when I went, I'm glad they did because it was a lot better weather in Casa Grande, Arkansas. I mean Arizona than it was in uh than it was in Benville, Arkansas, or over there in Arkansas somewhere, you know Clarksville or whatever they were doing it. But um, they um set it up. They gave me a plane ticket. They flew me out there. They uh gave me a room by myself in the Holiday Inn. They gave us, you know, when we processed in, they gave us a $50 gift coupon for uh, dinner. Uh, we had free breakfast at the hotel, and they picked us up in the morning, and we had lunch at the training site. You know, one day they brought in Popeye's chicken, another day was pizza, and another day was some barbecue place, and another day it was Subway. And then while we were there training, they have all these snacks there, water and sodas and Slim Jims and potato chips and candy and all that stuff. And what a lot of us did, you know, when we had lunch, a lot of times we had stuff that we'll take back with us 
uh, to our hotel rooms and then we'll eat, you know, we'll eat what we have for lunch for dinner and then we'll save our money, you know, that was on our gift card. All right. All right. So that's, so that was uh, all part of the, all part of the onboarding uh, process. So right. you, and, and it's only five days. So, so, you, so they had to, so for coming in there for a person that's on the outside looking in to get into, into Walmart, what they driving record has to look like? Well, the for the first thing is you got to have at least two and a half years experience from the start. So they're not a training company. They're not out to train anybody. They're trying to get people that's already experienced with, with a real good record. And they do check you for, you know, you know, your driving record. You know, there are certain type of accidents you cannot have, period. You know, you know, some of the ones that, you know, uh, where somebody died or, or your truck got pulled away. And some, some of those, whether it's your fault or not, you know, you're not qualified to come to Walmart. So they are pretty strict. Everything doesn't have to be your fault to disqualify you. You know, they kind of look at, you know, preventable, you know, you, you know, I guess they feel like most accidents are preventable. So even though it's not your fault, some of them are preventable, you know, you know, if you're looking and paying attention. So they're looking for exceptional drivers. And, um, but, uh, you know, like I said, if you meet the basic criteria, then you can go to the school and you go to the school and it's really basic. All they want you to do is know how to inspect your truck, uh, know how to drive your truck and then, um, and basically know how to park. You know, they have some more of those parking spots. The way they do it, it is, it looks so difficult and so tight, but that, but now they'll let you try it on your own you know, and see if you can do it, and then they'll show you.